All right, guys, I'm with Josh and Britt from Antler right. Trader. Yes. We're gonna go on a shed hunt together. You guys might remember Josh. We went on a elk shed trip. We found a couple deer sheds. Dude, Anyways, dude, we didn't do so good. So we're, we're uh, gonna go back at it to help redeem ourselves. We're getting a little self-motivation oh, here in the house. Yeah, we'll be. Look at this giant, guys. <laughs> How cool is that? A good day. The first side you found was? This side. That side. Yep. And it took you guys, the next trip you guys found it, right? Yeah. The next trip. And it was quick, right? Yeah. It was five minutes out of the truck. <laughs> That'd be such a bummer to go home without the match. Seriously. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that buck. They also have another set and single off him. But uh, let me give you guys a look at their trophy room here. Tons of big bucks. Big sheds. A lot of these are sheds, guys. Mounted. Yeah. Up on skulls. But uh, love this place, dude. This is a good, like, confidence booster for me right now. <laughs> I mean, I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. But now I'm really excited knowing that you never know when you can walk up on a set like this. So. Never. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was a dry, yeah, it had been dry for like weeks, trips with nothing. That's what it, that's what's so fun about shed hunting. I know a lot of you guys may or may not shed hunt, but part of the fun is just never knowing what you're going to find. So today we're gonna pack up, uh, it's about 6 a.m. We're gonna pack up and head out and hopefully come across, you know, something like this. Yeah. Remy, hey, come here. Where are the big buck sheds? Go find a shed. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just getting started. We're about to split up. Uh, there's gonna be three of us and a dog. This mountain, this finger right here, we're gonna get to the top and we'll just spread out and hammer it for as long as we can until we either hit a certain time or we get into them, yeah. If we don't get into them, we'll move. We'll just move. Mm -hmm. So here we go, guys. Game plan, cover country, walk, 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 a lot, glass a little bit, and uh, just keep moving until we find either a hot spot or um, we'll be moving. So we'll let's go. Check that out. These animals eat the cactus up here. Crazy. Just got to this flat mesa top and uh, instantly the train changed from like rocky lava rock, not very brushy on the way up to super thick brush, a lot of sage, cactus, and buck brush. This stuff looks really good. Looks really good, to be honest with you. Um, we're hunting an area I've wanted to come to for years, forever now. Just never had the chance to get down here, but I've really, really wanted to find a big set of mule deer sheds like this last year. Like, man, I need to get down there and just go uh, hit the hills with some friends. So this is long overdue, but we finally put this together, come out here with Josh. And uh, unfortunately, Garrett couldn't come. But we're going to work this mesa top, hopefully find some sheds. A lot of deer sign up here, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I set a goal to find five sheds. That might be a little steep, but maybe I just need to find the one. It's gonna be tough searching. You gotta keep your eyes open up here, man. It's thick. You gotta find the right bush. You gotta get lucky to walk by the right bush. They can be anywhere in this mess. On the board, got one. That's how close I came to seeing that thing. Almost stepped over that sage and right onto it, but that is my first deer shed of the trip. Man, it's a good sign. There's a lot of tracks in here and just finding an old shed is a good, good sign. Like I said, I had a goal of five, one down, four to go. Look at that old thing, a little old, but I actually like finding old sheds. It lets you know that they are around. Would have been a four point, but he's broke. All right. On to the next, just zigzag, and this is what it looks to be a shed hunter. Just every now and then, look behind you. Does that give you motion sickness? Sorry, guys. Okay, the next one will be bigger than this one. Well, that's how it happens. You never know when it's gonna happen. We've been in like a, I'd say an hour, hour and a half drought. Josh and I were yelling and whistling back and forth right here. Um, just trying to locate each other and make sure we all kind of stay in the same direction, same path. He says he's got a shed over here. He thought it might look big, but they always look big. 
and the binos. <laughs> Man, I was feeling pretty good about this brushy side. He beat me to it. He beat me to it. Eating deer jerky, looking for deer. Ooh, there it is. Is that it right there? I've got sidetracked across the canyon. Right side? Yeah, I think it was the right side. There's a pretty good one right there. White. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I found it, dude. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. That is a sweet looking shed, dude. Oh yeah, good eye guard. Wow. That's a that's a newer shed too. <laughs> now we need to find the big boys. We need to find the other side. That is the big boy. What are you talking about? That's See, here's the problem. I'm this guy, gonna... he's spoiled. He finds big sheds. I'm not gonna dog it. That's, That's what shed. I came here for. To find a big <laughs> solid shed like that. Look at the base. Pretty. That's a good shed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's cool, broken man. Shooter. Wow. Alright. I'm on a mission to find the other side. It's been looking better. The farther this way we've moved, mm -hmm. I've been seeing more sign. Couple little bucks over there. Potential world class giants in about five years, six years. Those are the first bucks I've seen on this hike. A little spike and a two point, both of them yearlings. Just the first year of antler growth. Tiny, tiny. It's funny. I we haven't found any small sheds like that, like little twos or spikes. You'd think you would, but Everything we're finding so far is like mature, mature bucks. Uh, not sure where Britt and Josh went, so I'm gonna go head this way and look for them. See if they found anything else. I sure haven't. Well, we decided to switch area. We pulled two sheds out of that last spot, so uh, we're we're gonna work our way up this draw and see if we can scoop a couple more. But. Uh, we're down here low now. We've dropped in elevation. Hopefully that helps produce more sheds. Fingers crossed. These guys didn't get skunked. Dude, that's cool. Wow. Old, but yeah. he's cool. He's got extras. Little dropper, a little yeah, cheater. Cool. Yeah, way cool. I like Brit's horn. It's bladed. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't he cool. Got a little eye guard on him. Yeah. You guys did a lot better than me. <laughs> well, I glassed that one up. Did you? Halfway up there. Wow, heavy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, as far as weight, like it. Dang. Yeah, it's a good horn. Dang, that's a sweet one. That beam turns all the way in like He's that. He's cool. It's not it broke. curls right up. <clears throat> That's a cool horn. This is a good. This makes the day. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Good. How about you, Remy? There you go. Remy's done. Remy is She's bent. She's like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it back to safety after that <laughs> horrible, horrible dirt road for miles and miles. But here's the best stuff. Josh pulled this one probably like in the last hour of the hike, last hour and a half. Here's his four point. And the ones Britt and I found, the trophies, the real trophies <laughs> right here. The, the older, the better. That's what I say. Look at the More chalk members. on that. <laughs> had a good time, guys. Thanks. Oh, we had yeah, a good time. We, we appreciate it. it. I'm going to leave a, a video link so you guys can go watch them pick up these giants. And uh, they run a YouTube channel called Antler Trader. Yes. Go check them out. You can see some of uh, all these cool trophies they've gotten here. Tons and tons of stuff. <laughs> They don't have an antler Christmas tree though, so I got them beat there. <laughs> they do have a couple of really cool antlers underneath the Christmas tree, which they must be gifts. So this one's probably to me, so I'll take that one. <laughs> you got some really cool stuff, guys. Go check out their channel so you can see some of the sheds they picked up. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks we'll do it again. Yes. I gotta come back and get a big set. Yeah, we need to plan a big trip. We'll go pick up some slobs. Yeah, we'll spend more than just a day. There's yeah. so much eye candy for me to look at here, guys. It's so fun. <laughs> look at that giant. Anyways, go check these guys out. Yeah, and thank uh, you. thanks for watching.